The England head coach reflecting on her World Cup squad. They all work so hard to get in the squads and lots of them do play really well, but you have to pick 23. Addressing a room packed with press, scrutinising the selection of 23 elite sports women. Included in the team travelling to Australia are three Aston Villa players. So make sure we're getting our arm out, we're getting our body between the player and the ball, OK? Off we go. The FA's chosen venue was Boldmere St Michael's Football Club in Sutton Coalfield. This club has shown a commitment to equality in girls and boys, women's and men's football, which is why today they had the honour of hosting the Lionesses head coach for such a momentous occasion ahead of the World Cup. Since investment in 2015, volunteers have transformed the club. They've developed from just six female players to more than 150. I've always wanted to be um, a footballer for the England women's and to see the actual coach was amazing. You were really excited because like, I don't think something such big has happened at our club before. It's just been surreal knowing that she'd be here at this club. And know, knowing that this club has done a lot, it was really deserving that she's been here. Rhiannon has coached here since she was 12 years old. When I was younger, I never really had you know, someone to really look up to. And the fact that they're trying to keep it equal and trying to present as many opportunities as the boys do to the girls, it's fantastic. Now we've probably got over 150 girls and, and women playing football here throughout the ages. And actually, it's easier to recruit at under sevens now than it is for under 14s, 15s and 16s. Someone who understands how players feel on squad announcement day is Stoke-on-Trent-born Kerry Davis, who played for England in the 1980s and 90s. When we see things like this, the former players and legends and pioneers, we're just so happy that, you know, women's football has gone forward so much and it is what it is today. It's fabulous. The Lionesses travelled to the World Cup as European champions. In the eyes of these young players, they're sporting heroes. Emma Thomas, BBC Midlands Today, Sutton Coalfield.